Okay, here we are. Matthew Russell Lee, Inner City Press, here by the Southern District of New York Courthouse. We're going in. It's the second full day of deliberations in the Hezbollah trial of U.S. versus Alexei Saab. Not much to say because in the first day they just asked for transcripts and uh, some highlighters, but there probably could be a verdict today. So we're going to turn to something else. First, a strange, not a detour. This morning in Washington, the Federal Reserve, the FDIC, uh, OCC, they're putting out a Community Reinvestment Act regulation. And although you'll be hearing a lot more about it, and watch Inner City Press's feed, what I want to say is, in, in a sense, don't believe the hype. Um, there's a lot of talk about how they're, they're cracking down on banks. Sadly, from my point of view, they're not. For example, they allowed Citizens Bank to buy Investors Bank here in New York. Investors Bank had a record so bad, so disparate, that a Community Reinvestment Act condition was imposed on them on lending, and the Federal Reserve didn't even ask for a report on it. They just rubber-stamped the merger. So until the Fed actually denies a merger, or we also raised as, as Fair Finance Watch comments on the U.S. Bank Mufug, Mitsubishi United Financial Group merger, showing that Mufug is still doing business in Russia. The Fed didn't ask a single question. So as to the Federal Reserve, don't believe the hype. Now, here, there are a number of, of uh, terrorism cases. Yesterday we covered the Saipov case, the man who drove down the West Side Highway killing several people. Now he wants a clock radio. There's a guy called Meltzer of the Order of the Nine Angles and across the bridge, Kandik in EDNY. The trial started up. We published some of the opening arguments from it. Also in EDNY today, a 2 p.m. press conference, Otaniel, noted Columbia drug dealer, has been extradited. We'll be covering that. Now, speaking of corruption, as we've noted, the former president of Honduras, Juan Orlando Hernandez, was repeatedly backed up by the United Nations, not just generally, but specifically by Antonio Guterres, the secretary general. He sent down a four-person panel to smooth over and cover up his theft of an election with drug money. Uh, and now that he's been extradited, the, 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 the UN won't ask, answer any questions at all. In fact, they've banned inner city press, and Linda Thomas-Greenfield, the U.S. ambassador to the UN, has done nothing about it. She's been asked, and she will continue to be asked. We're going in now. Hezbollah trial to be continued.